It's hard to believe. It's Thrifty Thursday once again. Well, everyone, I just got back from the thrift store and we had so much fun on this damp and dreary rainy day. I want to show you what I got. We went on a Monday, normally we go on a Thursday, but we went on a Monday because it didn't suit my daughters to go with me. So I decided to go on a Monday and I took my one granddaughter with me since my other granddaughter had plans as well. And we had so much fun going on a different day than what we normally go on. You find different things and going on a Monday seemed to prove out really good for me this week. And I got a whole bag of things. For two cents, I got some typing paper. They had a lot of this. Somebody was giving away a lot. And I used this when I pressed my herbs and I pressed my flowers. So I like to use that. And I have lots of videos on that. The real deal or steal is what I got. She had just put them out. Our t-shirt transfers. They're very expensive online. And as you've seen in previous videos, I hope you've seen it, I make a lot of beautiful vintage looking items using the computer and these transfer papers and my hot press. If you didn't see my hot press on my Thrifty Thursday, look up here across the screen and at the end of this video, it's a really neat item that I had a product review on. So I got three of these for a dollar each. That was a really good deal. Moving on with the paper, I got four fifty cents, my old looking paper, because I like to do a lot of writing and I like writing on this kind of paper, of this kind of paper, because it looks old. I only use paper like this. I even use this in my printer. So for 50 cents, I actually got this paper, which is probably from the 60s and 70s, because it is older. And then this one I got for 25 cents. It's the same type paper, it looks old. I use this for wrapping my herbs, for wrapping my soap, for writing letters. I use this for everything. I use this to line shelves in my kitchen. I love this kind of paper. Did I tell you I love paper? I love all kinds of old paper, like this one. <laughs> I tell you what, everybody's got their things they like to collect. Some women collect handbags and shoes and jewelry and rings. I collect paper, old paper and things like that. And then for $2.50, I got this one. And it is from the 1950s. And I thought it's something perfect for my home. I am really working at my home and just cleaning out everything and this is something that is going to be a keeper for me. I love it. This is actually cut with the old-fashioned way the paper is cut. I just love that. So I got this for $2.50. I needed a small basket. I know I have hundreds of baskets. Well, not hundreds, but I have a lot of baskets. But I needed a small one like this to put my seeds in when I'm going out in the garden and to work in it. For 50 cents, I got this one. It's perfect. It can fit my seeds in it and it's not big and bulky. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to be working in the garden today after this video is made and I'll put my seeds in there. So I'm really glad to have that. Oh, and of course, a day could not be complete without... <laughs> one by one, they keep coming my way. It's like falling from heaven, the jars. So I got one of these and I put them with my collection and I have quite a nice collection of them now. But not least, I bought something that was a frivolous spend. It was $1.50 and I got these apples. They're fake apples. I got it for a project, but I want to show you a product review I have to do here in a minute. But they're the wooden apples, you know, they have the different sizes, but they were so cute. And look, this one has, it, it's an apple that's already been eaten. It's a, and here's an apple that, here's an apple that's been eaten, 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 eaten. <laughs> here's an apple that has a bite out of it. And here's another apple. So 
I paid a dollar fifty for them. Okay, so this is part of the video that I would always edit out, you know, to get that perfect thumbnail. Well, when you have somebody like me who's in the Dutch word shushlik, to get the perfect thumbnail, well, it takes a long time. I spend three minutes on trying to find the perfect thumbnail, and it sure wasn't easy. Yeah, I'm the clumsiest kind of person around, but, you know, we have to embrace all of our faults and our differences. I'm not the most precise person, but you know what? At the end of the day, I always get it done. Yeah, Tessie, come on, get a little closer to that camera. There you go. Wow, that took a lot of work. So I want to show you this part of the video is a product review and the woman came to me and asked me if I was willing to review this and I pretty much say yes to just about everything because if it's a product review that I don't use, which of course you know by now I can't possibly use everything, I donate it and that helps the charity that I donate it to in many ways. So it's so much fun because I'm able to help people out and it doesn't cost me anything. And a lot of people love watching my reviews, which is really nice because it's only the last 30 seconds of my video. She said, would you be willing to do a product review on this bowl? And I said, sure. So here is the product review on this bowl. So to demonstrate this bowl, we'll just go ahead and put some of our apples in here. So there you go is the apples with the bowls in it. The bowl is beautiful. It has a beautiful finish. It's blue. It looks like an old fashioned type of a bowl that has that look to it of a clay. And I like it and it's going to stay in my home. I am keeping this. But so many of my product reviews, I donate to that thrift store. I donate lots of it. And I also donate it to families that are in the area and in need. In fact, when the food truck comes around, I'm starting to donate some things there. So when the people come around and get the food and they see something they like, they pick it up. I've donated vacuums, sewing machines. I've donated air fryers. You name it, I've donated it to people and it's such a blessing. So it's a win-win situation for everybody around. Take care everyone and we'll see you guys tomorrow. Well, springtime is officially here. That means hundreds of little seedlings have to come out and put into the greenhouse. Hubby decided to help me too. Boy, that made work a lot easier. It took us about an hour to get it all into the greenhouse. All right, and now they're all ready to be planted here in about a couple weeks. It's just a little too cold yet. But my greenhouse is transformed and coming into life.